This is just one piece of a multi-part course. If you're interested in more, check out tunefiles.com. So if we take a look at this, I can just click on the composition panel and hit the space bar. You can see that even with the little work that we've done, things are looking pretty good. And we're really just using all the assets from Moho and just by adding some glows and blurs, things are already looking better. But we can add more to this and all it requires is just animating out some new elements re-implementing them into Moho and then putting them back into here. Now we could go through and natively just put in some particles into the shot and all of that. The only problem is because of the way the camera is moving, we would have to do some tracking in order to get this all to work inside of After Effects. And in the end, it might be easier just to use the original camera movement from Moho in order to set up these effects. But first, I want to build the effects inside of After Effects, as I like the way particles work in there compared to Moho. Let's go ahead and make a new composition. We can use Command N or Control N if you're on Windows to do so. And we can keep this at 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames per second. And I'm just going to go in here and rename it to Sparks. Now, I'm going to come down here to the duration and change it to 10 seconds. That way I have some time to play with as I start to implement this. And then I can click OK. So now we're just in a new composition. We can go back to Comp 1 and we can see our character animation right here. So that's fine. We're not losing anything. And I want to make a new adjustment layer. To do that, you can use Command or Control, Alt and Y and that will put up a new adjustment layer for you. Coming over here to the effects and presets, I'm going to type in particle and find particle world and drag and drop it onto the adjustment layer. Now, if I hit the space bar, you're going to see we have some stuff occurring on screen. We have the default particle ready to go. Now we're not going to do anything too extreme with the particles. We're just going to work with the preset particles we have in After Effects and then just adjust the physics and try to get it to do what we want it to do. So what I can come in and do first is try to figure out how I want this to work. I think I want it to shoot up kind of like a fountain. So I can come down here and try to find something that will work for this. If I go to Cone Axis, that's actually looking pretty good. I think something like that would be suitable for what I want. Now, I do want to adjust some other things, though. If we come in, we can adjust the extra, which allows us to kind of shore this up a little bit, which I want to do. And if we adjust the gravity, you can see that we can have it go up higher as well. And I can always click and drag on the origin point to bring it down, just so it's not getting cut off. So it kind of looks like this now. Coming up here, I might kick back the birth rate just a little bit, maybe to about 0.3. So we can take a look at this now. It's kind of looking like that. And there's probably some other things I can come in here and play with. It really just kind of depends on what you're looking for. And sometimes you just gotta play with these options in order to figure out exactly what you want. But I can come over here, I'm going to increase the max opacity to 100%. And the color birth and death, I can come in and for the death color, make it, maybe make it a darker red. And then for the birth color, perhaps something more orange like that. Actually, I think I'll keep it at yellow. This is looking pretty good, actually. And then come back here, and let's put it back to orange. I was looking at this, and it's like, hmm, yeah, I think I like that better. So, okay, we'll just go with something like that. And I think everything else is looking okay. The last thing I do want to do is come in and adjust the speed. So I can right-click on the adjustment layer and go to time 
and then go to Time Stretch. This will bring up a new panel. You can either enter in your stretch factor or choose the duration you're looking for. In this case, since it's 10 seconds, if I put 300, it's going to be 30. But I'm going to try 300 and then click OK. I just want this to slow down a little bit. That might be a little bit too slow. So I'm going to just go back into the time stretch just by right clicking and choosing time. And let's try 200. I think that'll work. So the last thing I want to do is just scale that back just by clicking on the layer and moving it to the left. That way it doesn't start like it's coming out. It's already just started. And you can see that we just have this animation going like that. One last thing I might do just so it's a little bit easier to work with. I'm going to make this a 3D layer just by clicking on the 3D button next to that layer. And I want to make a new camera layer as well. So just go up to Layer, New, and then Camera, or Alt-Shift-Command-C. I always kind of forget that shortcut, but you just want to set up the default camera is fine and click OK. We're just going to use the camera to zoom this in a little bit. I just find it easier once you have your elements on screen just to use a camera, or at least sometimes I find it easier. So we're just going to unveil the camera options and then find the position Z property and just bring it forward like that. So now it's closer to the screen. So we have a nice big image for the export. So we have something that looks like that. Okay. So now we're just going to come over here and queue this up for export. So I can go up here to composition and then add to Adobe Media Encoder. And this is just going to launch Media Encoder and it will place this composition into Media Encoder so that way we can export it out. But before I do that, I'm going to pause here and we're going to create some more particles to help us enhance this scene in the next couple videos. To view the rest of this course or gain access to the source files, visit tunefiles.com.